If you are one of those people with car nostalgia, the new LaCrosse by General Motors' Buick division may just scratch that itch for you. Here to tell us more about the car your dad might love is WSJ's Rumble Seat columnist, Dan Neal. Hi, Dan. Hello, how are you? I'm well, thanks, Dan. As you write in your story, they don't make cars the way they used to, and this is a good thing, right? Oh, uh, mechanically, it's a fantastic thing. Cars were death traps, and they were, you know, 60,000 miles was about as much you get out of a 60s car. Uh, but, yes, they're fantastically well-built, a uh, whole different thing. And so the challenge is how to give them sort of a, a consistency uh, historically. So if you do have a hankering for a set of wheels from your, is this Buick for that person? This is an interesting case because um, because Buick is a global brand, a big global brand, and the case of the LaCrosse illustrates the divergent uh, fortunes of the brand in China, where fully 80% of Buick brand uh, division sales occur. Wow. And uh, yeah, I know, 80%. And then uh, versus the 19% or 18%, uh, Canada gets 1% and the rest of the world gets another percent. <laughs> Who knows where they're buying other Buicks. But uh, the point is that, you know, they're very different brands. In in uh, China, it's, this car is super sexy, very, very stately, very, it is red with authority and prestige and, and it has an aesthetic and, and, and it's responsible to an aesthetic. This is not a car that was designed in a vacuum without uh, uh, the uh, input from Chinese design studios. And then in the United States, uh, it, it looks to us uh, very differently because we have a different context for it. Uh, so you know, it looks, it, yeah. It, does Buick then even care what you think about it or what anyone in the U.S. thinks about it? I mean, 80% of their sales are in China. Well, may I say, I think they probably care what. I but anyway, uh, everybody cares what you think, Dan. Right, well, exactly. I don't have to be modest for a bit saying that. But uh, no, seriously, uh, they they do care. But this is an interesting thing too, because the sedan market, the big sedan market, which is associated with Buick uh, historically, you know, that market is uh, declining rapidly. Buick sells about half of these cars uh, they did ten or fifteen years ago. So uh, and 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 so when you have declining sales in this segment like that, you can't, as General Motors or any other company really uh, kick in, you know, a, a radical reinvention of the sedan. So in the United States, it seems like it's a status quo anti kind of thing, even though this car is it's about 300 pounds lighter than it, it might have otherwise been through some very good engineering, gets great gas mileage, as a, a flying carpet on the road. So uh, that's all huh. good. That part it's all good. sounds good. But Dan, I'm afraid you're not really a fan. No, I think the styling is is kind of like uh, was done by two different uh, hands and on two different bodies. Uh, it, it, it's inconsistent. I think there's a great deal of laxity in the fuselage. I think these are sort of uh, formal distinctions that could have been sorted out in the design studio. Plus, it's a floater. I mean, the thing just, just you know, uh, and they have a sports suspension. Uh, um, maybe that'll help. And you call it one of Cleopatra's new lightweight barges. <laughs> Well, okay, I was being a little catty, you know, but uh, you but I love the parade. Catty? No, I'm serious. No, I know. <laughs> well, you know, I've been very cranky lately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get cranky the day before Thanksgiving. So, Dan, right. this is the kind of car that you think might appeal to someone's dad because it's not retro cool. It might just be retro. Well, you know, Buick has tries to lower its uh, average age. They've got all these SUVs which are really knocking it out of the park with younger consumers. This is a, a bid for the more established consumer, let's say. This is, you know, uh, you've heard youth must be served. Uh, this is the opposite. <laughs> all right. Dan, Neil, thank you so much. We sure, we're sure that the car is going to be gangbusters in China. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. Bye.